In ancient writings, there's a story that's come down called the Lion Makers. There were once four Brahmins who'd been studying for years in the monastery. And three of them had really been, well, they thought they were great students. And they had learned a lot. And the fourth simply was a learned man with common sense. But as they are walking along, they came upon a kind of rotting carcass of an animal. And obviously it been a big animal. And they studied it and looked. Finally, they said, oh, this had once have been a lion. And one of the men would, was very astute and said, do you know, I have been trained to farm the bones of the animal. I can put that animal back together again. Another one said, well, I have been taught how to add flesh to an animal and organs. I could make the animal whole again. <clears throat> and fourth, third one said, well, I could put the skin back on the animal. And the fourth problem, the one with common sense said, I don't think any of this should be done because this was a lion. Let's just leave it as a dead lion. But the three problems who were on all the study wanted to show what they could do. So, one of them put the bones back together very meticulously and formed this almost statue of a lion. The other one formed flesh, skin. And the other one said, the third one said, I can blow my breath of life into this. And the common sense one said, I don't think we should do this, but I'm going to watch from that tree over there. <laughs> and he went and he climbed this tall tree and looked down and said, uh, I, I, I really don't think you should proceed. But the third Brahmin had to show his great power. So he did his special thing and created a living, breathing, huge, tawny lion that attacked the gentleman mm -hmm. and tore it in pieces while the one of common sense looked on the tree and said, I kept telling him they shouldn't do it. <laughs>